And this is about as wide a cover two spread as you're going to see. I mean, look at that. They're like 50 yards apart. And then you can see here, I mean, we're just getting right over the top. This is just a super fast, easy one play touchdown against cover four. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. Uh, more importantly, one passing play that can home run just about any defense in the game. I'm in the Raiders playbook. The Raiders playbook actually has this play in two different formations, but the play itself is going to be in most playbooks. You should be able to find the play I'm going to show you today in just about every single playbook in the game. Uh, the play itself is going to be the PA zone shot. Now, in this particular playbook, it's in the single back wide trips, and it's also in the gun uh, which is where I typically find it. Like if you're if you play with the Saints, you're typically going to find it in a in a formation like this out of the gun wide trips halfback week. You can see it's the exact same play there at the PA zone shot. So it's really up to you. I find it's probably best to run it in the gun based off the fact that you're going to want some time uh, for some of these uh, home run plays with your quarterback. But if you also like to run the ball, I think that you know there's a couple of good run plays that you could use out of the single back wide trips. Uh, like more importantly, probably the uh, the zone weak alert bubble, um, the power alert. The, the O1 trap, all these are really good plays. So it's really up to you and what your you know particular play style is. I found this play here while I was trying to update my ebooks. If you purchase an ebook, by the way, if you don't know, uh, it's you get the full upgrade anytime the game is patched. All you have to do is email me with proof of purchase, and I will send you an updated copy whenever there's a patch, whenever I get the uh, the updated versions done. But I'm updating my ebooks now, and I saw this play here it can home run just about any defense in the game. So I'm gonna go pick the play, the PA zone shot. You probably want your fastest receiver here uh, but I'm going to leave Henry Ruggs alone because I don't want anybody saying that the reason that this play is working is because of Henry Ruggs' speed so I'm going to leave Nelson Aguilar in the home run spot so let's go and let's pick the PA post shot on the defensive side I'm going to start off uh, with cover two zone like I typically do and work my way back. Like I said, this play is going to be a one-play touchdown against just about every defense in the game. Uh, but let's start off with zones and we'll work our way to man. Now before we get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys need uh, some coins to get your mutt team up with all the new coins dropping, make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. So one of the better ways to do this... Uh, would be to put this uh, RB route on a flat then put the B route on a smoke. If you do that, um, the safety will stay out of the way. It'll basically spread these safeties and give you just a hellacious uh, one-play touchdown right through the, safe, the center safeties there. There's a couple different ways you can do it. But if we go to the replay, you just notice that, you know, this this safety here, for whatever reason, even though there's no real routes threatening him, he just basically keeps his uh, his deep half. And very wide, too. I mean, this is a very wide deep half. He's almost to the uh, he's almost out of bounds. And it's all just because he's reacting to the fact that there are two guys over here, even though they're running short routes aren't really threatening the area. But you can see, I mean, the center of the field is typically where you want to aim for when it comes to uh, cover twos. And this is about as wide a cover two spread as you're going to see. I mean, look at that. They're like 50 yards apart. Part. So that's probably the uh, the easiest way uh, to home run this defense based off the fact that, you know, you can spread this defense. You can also put them on drags, but like I said, I'm really trying to hit this one play outside. So it's really it's really going to be, you know, that's more importantly the setup. So let's go and let's move on to, uh, to cover three. Against cover three, you really have to run this uh, from the hash marks. Again, you have to run to the open side of the field. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring this guy in here, and I typically either put him on a streak or a fade. Some For some reason, sometimes when you put him on a streak, he'll angle towards the uh, the safety, like right here. I don't know why he does that, but it totally messes the play up. So it's actually better to put him on a fade. So I'll go ahead and do that again. This time, like I said, I'll do the fade. I do feel that that helps. Block my running back. I'll shift my line to uh, the left as well because sometimes I'll roll in that direction to shorten this throw because it's not the easiest throw for Derek Carr to make. And then you can see we get over the top for a one-play touchdown. Like I said, a little bit of a better arm, a little bit more speed would be helpful. Um, like I said, I, I could run this with uh, with Henry Ruggs if I wanted to. I'll go to the replay real quick to, uh, to show what you're looking for if you aren't aware how these cover three one play touchdowns work you can see right here this cornerback here it's his responsibility but the second he starts to slow down 
that's really when um, you know you can throw the ball. You can basically bullet and pass it outside. That safety is in a pretty good spot, but like I said, a little bit more speed would uh, would cure that. And you can see I'm already throwing it. I'm basically throwing it the second I start seeing him decelerate because I don't have to wait for him to come to a complete stop. But if I see him slowing down like this, I'm basically just going to start bombing it up. We're going to do that again. Like I said, fades the way. I don't think you even need, honestly, the B route. You don't even need to put him on. Uh, you could leave him doing the route that he's doing. And you can see it's still going to have the same success. Here we get a little bit more uh, more separation. As you can see, we get an easy one-play touchdown. But like I said, if I did that with Henry Ruggs, it'd be even easier. We'd be probably going by about five more yards. So let's go ahead and move on to cover four. Against uh, regular cover four drop. Uh, which is one of the reasons I took the uh, the Chiefs is because I know they have all these defenses. Uh, cover four drop is going to be an easy one play touchdown right through the center. So let's go and let's pick that. Got to move the ball back to the middle. I mean, you don't have to, but re realistically, uh, it's best to, to run this. Uh, you don't have to run this from the hash marks, basically. And this play, you don't really need any adjustments. Now, this is another play I really think that, uh, you know, having... Uh, Having a faster receiver here is going to help out, but you can see, I mean, he just gets right through the safeties. He splits the safeties. We'll go to the replay one more time. There's there's ways to make this even easier, but, I mean, the crossing checkdowns are nice to have, so if you don't have to change them, don't bother. But right here, I mean, like I said, I'm just watching this guy here. Based off of the fact that, um, you know, these other routes on the other side are short, these safeties will react uh, lower. They'll drop lower or stop altogether once the uh, receivers leave their side of the field. As you can see, they pretty much just stop. So at that point, you're just basically waiting for this guy here to get inside this safety. Once he gets inside the safety, like right here, all you have to do is bullet pass lead away from that safety, and you've already got uh, you've already got position for an easy one play touchdown. You can see right here. I mean, I was avoiding the rush quite a bit, but I'm already loading up. Bullet pass lead to the right, and you can see the safety underneath is in no position to make a play. So it's really just about running away from this guy. I'll go ahead and run that again. You can do any number of combinations with these other receivers, though. You can put them on smokes. Uh, you can put one on a smoke, one on a drag, give yourself a check down. All this stuff here um, is just to keep these safeties down so that they can't drop back and make a play. And then you can see, I mean, it's really just about, you know, it, you don't have to do that, though. It's really your choice. You just need short routes. If you want to make up some combination of routes for your check downs, like I said, sometimes me personally, I just drag the B route for a good safe check down. Uh, any number of things because this, uh, this play here, um, you know, you have some good outlet passes. Like, say, you're getting pressure like I was there. Didn't avoid the rush. I could try to hit the drag. You have things like that, but ultimately, um, just don't make any uh, long route adjustments, and this will beat cover four very easily. Against cover four quarters, uh, that's the uh, cover four match. All the crossing routes are going to mess this up pretty good, so let's go and let's pick that. Against cover four quarters, all you have to do is motion this guy in once again. I like to put him on a smart route at about 10 yards, but I don't think that's necessarily 100% important. And then you can see here, I mean, we're just getting right over the top. This is just a super fast, easy one-play touchdown against cover four. If you don't motion him in, it won't work out like that. If you leave him outside, the cover four quarters do a pretty good job of sticking with uh, this uh, receiver. As you can see right here, I mean, there's some slight separation. Maybe if I had a little bit more speed, he might be going by more, but it's definitely important to motion him in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to motion him in. Like I said, I don't think you have to put him on a come or on a uh, smart route, but I do find that the, the quicker break definitely helps. And now you can see, I mean, this is just, I, I probably could have pass led that up. I just kind of threw it right away, but I could probably pass lead it up and away. Uh, and it'll be an even easier play. I'm going to try that one more time because, like I said, I wasn't really happy with that throw. Uh, I was a little bit in danger, but like I said, right here, we'll do that one more time. Like I said, if I pass lead that up and away, um, it's it's easily gone. But like I said, I probably should be holding the ball a little bit longer, and I should probably use a faster receiver. Now, this is also a really good cover uh, cover two man play. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. On this particular play, all I got to do is motion this guy in. He typically will get an inside release, then you just put him on a smart route. And you're going to see how he kind of just gets inside release and splits those safeties. It's not going to be a one-play touchdown, but it's going to be a very big play. Um, against man, I mean, you know, it's it's a good play. So against man, motion him in, put him on a smart route. You could streak these receivers uh, just to pull that safety back uh, because he's kind of running away from these safeties anyway. So I'll give you a little bit more opportunity for a catch and run. But I find it's probably best just to hit him with a low pass, uh, bullet low pass anyway. Um, because you don't really want to take the chance of getting decked uh, by anybody. So, you know, that's just a good play that you could use against cover two uh, to, to, you know, get some good gainers. Um, also, once again, dragging this uh, B route here 
is going to make a lot of sense. So you have some secondary reads as well. Um, but it's really going to be, I mean, the RB route's okay. Once he makes that second break, though, it's typically going to get caught up by the man coverage. So you have to pretty much throw that right away as well. Um, but you have a couple of routes here. If you put this guy in a drag and you do this setup, you have a couple of routes here that can beat man cover too. Against man cover one, I'm going to go with speed once again. This route doesn't work as well against man cover one as it does man cover two, but you can hit a one-play touchdown. So I'm going to put the B route on a smart route once again, streak the tight end. Uh, this is pretty much going to be it. I just have to wait for this B route here uh, to cross the field. As you can see, he's getting some separation, and you can beat man cover one. But certain plays, you're definitely going to need that speed. If you uh, run this, I mean, you could do the same motion in if you want to shorten the length at which... It takes uh, rugs here to cross the field. You can bring him in, and it's going to even, you know, it'll work out even better. So here we have the, uh, you know, it's going to take it's going to take a lot less time to get across the field, which obviously is important, uh, and it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to make it even easier. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Raiders or Saints, because like I said, this was kind of a dual-purpose video. I wanted to have something from both playbooks. Do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.